Big Z Reviews. Hero is an Australian crime drama that is currently on Hulu, and they just finished a little bit ago their second season, and I believe they're doing a third season next year. But, you know, I randomly signed it. I mean, Hulu is not their... Their menu system and finding new stuff is not the easiest thing to do, but I randomly kind of found this and watched it and thoroughly enjoyed it. Make welcome the new member of the Quiffin staff, Dr. Grace Molyneux. What do you think of the new pathologist? I don't think of the new pathologist. I will take away everything that you hold dear, everything that makes your life worth living. So this mainly stars Eowyn Grufford as uh, this main character. He is, you know, a medical examiner. And it's kind of funny that this same actor, he was the one that, he was Mr. Fantastic in, in those two uh, Fantastic Four movies. And he also, he had a show in America called Forever, where he was a medical examiner that couldn't die. So there's like, and he's playing a medical examiner again, but this time in Australia. And I think this show is probably a lot better than that show, even though I still did enjoy Forever. But I, I like this, especially the first season. The first season I loved. And I, 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 it does something that I really like when a show does, where you have this larger mystery throughout the show. Then you have the smaller mysteries week by week. And I think that it really, if done well, it, it creates a great show that like it makes you it makes every episode have a beginning middle and end but then also an, an overarching story which you build to which you can then do in like the episode 9 and 10 uh, of the season and that it really it's really thrilling and it really keeps you you know involved in the story and keeps you wanting to binge the whole season as quick as you can even though I usually would show that I try to, especially if there's a limited amount of them, I try to keep them to at most like two a night. And I I did really enjoy this. I, I would recommend it with Hulu. But the idea for this is that Daniel Harrow is a you know forensic pathologist and he is a genius and he is some of his methods can be a little odd, but you know, he gets the job done so no one complains too much. And he has, you know, a great supporting cast of characters. I, I liked a lot of them. And, uh, and the, like, the idea is that he, in, in the start of the, like, he's, he wants to, he has some troubled family life. Like, his daughter is just about to turn 18, but she's kind of a little bit of a runaway or hiding out, like, not at home. And he's divorced. And there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of family drama. But, like, he, at the beginning, he, he was going to go on, you know, uh, he lives on a houseboat, a big like boat. So he was going, he was, but he was going to go with her on this trip. And then they find these bones in the, in, you know, like the, the bay, the sea. And they, and he stays because those bones are significant to him. Those bones in the in concrete. Because they, he may have been involved in those bones and like you spend the whole season finding out you know why what how and everything around that what and what i really enjoyed here is that like yeah the, you know you you mainly you really start to like harrow but at the same time you have this thing going on hanging over him where you're not sure did he murder this guy or why would he murder this guy or did he just cover up something you know what is going on and you really like him, but, like, you're not sure if he is completely a good guy. But then you more and more, you spend the time you spend with him and see how, how like, he solves these cases. And you know that he wouldn't murder someone. Or if, if he would murder someone, like, he wouldn't murder anyone that was innocent. So, like, it's, like, it's, 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 I love that, you know, you're, you're not, you still see, you don't know him yet. But as you learn more about him and you also learn more about what may have been going on with these bones... It's very interesting and I really enthralling, and I like everything they do with it, and it, it creates a really crazy kind of things that that happen towards the end of the first season are really crazy, and I really like everything that they do. And I, and I it was just the first season, I probably give it like a ten out of ten, but then they do have a second season, and the second season 
episode to episode, like the actual like the smaller mystery they have to solve, I still loved. But there's the other overarching story mystery that that's going on for the show is stupid. And it's it's stupid because like there isn't a mystery. For the viewer, almost immediately you know everything. But there's a thing that the idea that there's this guy that um, Hera put away in jail, a serial killer, but then he died in jail, but somehow he's out now haunting Harrow. And, but like, but, and it, it's frustrating because as a viewer, you know he's alive. And you know he's messing with Harrow. And, but they constantly have all of Harrow's best friends, people he's worked with for decades. But they're all like, I think he's going crazy. And it's like, but, but you, you like him. You know him. Why wouldn't you think that maybe something going on? And you see other people that, like, they make decisions that impact what's going on. And it's like, like they betray friends and just because for their career. But, like, you don't, I don't, I don't know about that. And then at a certain point, like, even Harrow is kind of questioning his himself and, like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this guy is dead. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy. Or, like, and, but, uh, like, you know, as a viewer, you know it's real. Like, that's what's so frustrating. Like, you have all these characters, which you're supposed to like, and they're all just, like, going after Harrow, like, well, something wrong, I don't know what's going on with him. He's, he's, I think he's, he's, he's broken, he's, he's, he's. He has, something's wrong with him, he's, he, you know, it's like, and as a viewer, it, it's so frustrating, and it makes you hate these characters, you're supposed to like this supporting cast, and also the supporting cast are in mortally, in mortal danger, some of them, and I, I hate the decision they make, but I, some of the people that I, I really like, and other people I didn't like, I like, couldn't you kill them instead? You know? <laughs> and it's because they're being so weird about this, and it's frustrating as as a viewer. But you know, it's still like I said, episode to episode, I really liked it. But then you know, the last two episodes are pretty much all just about the you know this main thing, and it's like it's I still enjoyed it, but it's just nowhere near as good as the first season. And you know, ho hopefully, I think they're doing the third season. But if they do, they have a better overarching mystery this time. But I like I did. Like, as a whole, like, I'd probably give it, like, a 9 out of 10. But I'd give the second season, like, an 8, 8 out of 10. They're 7.5, 7.75 out of 10. But, like, I I still, I really like the idea of the show and the cast and the writing and the mysteries. The mysteries are well done. They're well crafted. And I, I did enjoy a lot of it. But I'd probably give it as a whole, I'd give it, like, an 8.5, 8.75 out of 10. Well, thanks for watching. Check out the replay through my head and subscribe to me Z over there. Thanks. This has been a Big Z TV show review. Thanks for watching.